RTV6. Breaking news right now, a passenger bus overturns trying to turn onto Keystone Avenue coming off Interstate 465, killing three people. We have been told this bus full of children was coming back to Indianapolis from a summer camp in Michigan. We have live team coverage of this deadly crash, beginning with RTV6 reporter Ebony Monet, who is joining us live with new breaking details. She's on the scene. Ebony. Drew, when first responders first got here to this overturned bus, they tell us that three people were dead. And they say at least two of those three people are adults, even though this bus was carrying mostly young adults. Actually, this is a church bus, the Colonial Hills Baptist Church bus. And the children were actually coming from a trip in Michigan when this accident happened. According to authorities, they say that this bus was actually speeding when it tried to turn onto Keystone and first responders got here. And we spoke to a first responder just moments moments ago about this crash. They also told us that two teenagers were airlifted to area hospitals, one to Riley Hospital for Children and the other one to St. Vincent. And here is what that first responder had to tell us about this accident. We have a 40 passenger bus that overturned. Witnesses to say that it was coming off the interstate 465 at a high rate of speed. The bus did not slow down, tried to make its turn southbound on Keystone, overturned. Right now we have 40 patients Three aren't accounted for. We think they're, they're, they're here, but we have not accounted for them yet. Right now, there are a lot of loved ones trying to get in touch with their family. Like you heard him say, there were 40 people on that bus. Three people are dead, two people in critical condition. People at the church are asking anyone concerned about their loved ones to meet at the church right now. That church loca is located on Keystone and 80th Street. Reporting live, Ebony Monet, RTV6. Our live team coverage of this deadly bus crash on Keystone Avenue at 96th Street continues right now with RTV6 reporter Chris Prophet, who is joining us live outside Methodist Hospital. Chris? And Drew, we are here at uh, Methodist Hospital where we have seen within the last several minutes, well, within at least the last half hour, several patients coming in on different ambulances and three from EMS. Uh, they're from area departments. We've been waiting for a spokesperson with Methodist who was going to come out she went inside to get some of the latest information, and right now we just don't have that. That spokesperson has not come out to give us the number of patients that have been brought here or the extent of their injuries. So right now we are waiting for that person to come back out to just give us an update. But we can tell you right now as you look uh, behind me that there have been several uh, ambulances. We did notice uh, people who were being brought off those ambulances on stretchers that were taken inside of that emergency med medicine and trauma center. Uh, the emergency room for Methodist Hospital. But again, we're going to try and uh, stand by and get the latest information on the number of patients that have been brought here. We do want to let you know we did see, in addition to the two people that Ebony was talking about that were airlifted to area hospitals, we did see the lifeline being brought here just a short time ago. Uh, it's unclear if that brought one of the people in that uh, injury, in that accident, with all those injuries from that bus on the north side, but we will stand by with the latest. We do know that a 14-year-old boy, we're told, was taken to Riley Hospital uh, with critical injuries. That's the latest here from Methodist Hospital. We'll continue to stand by and get to the latest as the news continues. Reporting live downtown, Chris Prophet, RTV6. Drew? And those are live pictures you're looking at right now from Skycam 6, high above the scene there. We can also tell you that we have confirmed that St. Vincent's Hospital has received several patients from this bus crash as well. They have not confirmed how many just to say that they have several patients that have been transferred to St. Vincent's from this bus crash, once again, on Keystone Avenue and 96th Street. Live pictures right there from Skycam 6 as well. And we will continue to follow this breaking news throughout this newscast and all night to bring you the very latest right here online and on the RTV6 mobile app.